The other day I made a pretty simple video on stopping distance. It was about this formula. I did some examples of cars going 60 and 100 km per hour. Later that day in the comments, someone asked, well, what if the car was going to speed light? How long would it take to stop then? This really got my gears turning, because it made me remember this formula for finding the amount of seconds it takes a car to stop. Combined with the other formula, we could not only figure out how far the car would slide at the speed of light, but also how much time it would take. After some work, we figured out it would slide about 5.7 quadrillion meters, or about 19,138 trips to the sun and back. We also figured out the trip would take about 442 days. This is why I love science. It allows you to ask questions and find the answers. And if no one else has asked your question before, you might just make an amazing discovery and win a Nobel Prize. But that's not why they do it. They're not in it for the money. When Albert Einstein was a kid, he wasn't trying to become super rich and become famous. He did it, like many others, for his love of science, which is really just a curiosity, a deep down desire that everyone has to understand the world we live in. So let's as people keep asking these questions, the ones that change the world forever. The ones like, why did that apple just fall from the tree? Or, what if the sun is the center of the solar system? So my friends, what's your question?